Guys, I've been waiting for this moment for a while. I want to present to you my favorite piece of gear. This is the Maxpedition Fat Boy. I love this pack. Now, the Fat Boy is one of the smaller versions of the Gear Slinger. And what I really like about the Gear Slinger is it just slips right over your shoulder and it's very comfortable to carry. Padded here, just the contour on this pack is just amazing, how comfortable it is. And the funny thing is, I find myself carrying this pack a lot just over my shoulder like this. It has a grab handle here, so it makes it really easy and convenient to carry. The jumbo is a little big for me because I'm not all that big, but uh, this fat boy is perfect, the perfect size um, for everyday carry. Let's take a look at this incredible pack. Number one, this thing is just super well made. And you know, I've, I've seen other places that are cheaper from distributors that are selling inferior gear that looks great. But I'm gonna tell you guys, it loses its form quickly the seams start coming loose. I've been there, done that, and I'm telling you, you will really enjoy a good quality pack for many years. And these things age well. You know, I have an old L.L. Bean bag. I've had that thing for 30 years or longer, and it is just rough and tumble, but I love that bag. It's just such quality. But first off, I just want us to look at the different features of the pack. Um, you can get all the dimensions of all the pockets on Maxpedition.com. Go there. I've done a lot of reviews for Maxpedition, as you know. And uh, actually, Maxpedition provided this for me. I called him. I said, hey, I'd love to have this bag in particular. And I've had it now for about four months. And I'm going to tell you, it is a super quality bag. At first, they start out with a 1,000 denier ballistic nylon. And this has been triple coated with polyurethane. It's... Uh, scratch resistant it's stain resistant don't wash these bags you just take a, a cloth and you clean it up great fast text buckles throughout quick release now as you can see it has all the black padding on the back this is great it's weatherproof it's water it'll take the perspiration off of you perspiration uh, here is the place where the strap goes and like I say I just tuck this away in my binocular case has the nice grab handle. A lot of times when I have it just maybe getting ready to go somewhere, it makes it really easy to grab this and just pick it up and walk out. Put it in my car, the truck, whatever I'm doing. Now my fat boy is also my companion in my car. What really makes it nice is I can just pick it up. Have everything right here with me. They, they've thought about all the different things with this. Uh, here you have a, uh, some, a hook and loop on the front, just a pile webbing, I mean pile that you can put uh, patches, put your name patch, whatever. Uh, YKK zippers throughout with pull cords, uh, then the smaller YKK zippers for the smaller places. Um, multiple pouches outside, and I'm going to look at each one. Uh, many of these can double for different things. This little holster here, I have a Gerber multi-tool in here. But I also have a nice little 911, 1911 45 magazine, and that's going to foretell some things in the coming up. Um, right here, this is great for flashlight. Or at this point right now, I just threw my cell phone in here to keep it safe while I'm out in the, in the woods. Um, over here on this side, nice molly webbing on it. The zippers are very nice. have a little pair of binoculars. And down in here, I have the uh, strap that goes around the waist in case I ever need that. A little more for longer haul type situations. But I keep my basics in here. This is my EDC. This is what I keep in my car. I keep it around just in case I need certain things. I have them handy. You'll notice this flap comes way down over and closes over these front initial pockets. And what that does, it protects it from the elements, which I really like about this bag because this is water resistant. You can pour, and you've seen some of my other reviews where I just pour water on this and it just beads up and rolls off. But on top of that, you have an added protection here with this nylon bag. 
it'll cinch up very tightly has a pull cord and it makes it really nice to kind of double insulate okay we're going to talk about this front right here we have the zipper keeps small items in here I have actually a little thing of Advil and a lighter and a little multi-tool and just a few things in here odds and ends chapstick go to this next patch pouch in the front right in rain little pad with a right in rain pen uh, here's a uh, leak from uh, Kershaw love this knife and then here we go I've got a um, this is just a little kit with fingernail clippers and things like that in it then on beyond that has another zippered pocket here I have a little headlamp and then a few items like um, antibiotic ointment and some hand sanitizer just a few things like that some sunblock insect repellent I keep it right here in this little pocket has plenty of room though I could still fit a lot more in that that part of the bag and then there's a huge compartment here with mesh I don't know if you can see them but there are little mesh pockets inside there so you can subdivide what you need right in here now I've been keeping my cameras in here and using this as a video bag as well so I throw my camera down in here my charger my steel camera put it down in here it's very well protected there's a lot of compartments out on the outside that keep this protected as well you know this is really one of my many adventure bags and I'm gonna be doing some adventure bags coming up because I think that you should always have some things prepared so if you ever have an adventure that just comes it presents itself to you you're ready to take the plunge now one of my favorite features about Smack Expedition is this little pouch back here and most of their packs have this little zipper YKK zipper with a paracord string in here they have a very generous uh, pile interior great for hook and loop and that's velcro uh, they have a universal holster that you could put in here and you can put different things and according to where you are but to, today I do have my uh, Colt Commander lightweight in here uh, as you saw my uh, earlier magazine but it just makes it a very nice complete package as you can see underneath you have the D-rings with room to attach to slide in and cinch up articles that you might want to put underneath Here's an H&K style clip, and one of the things I like to do with this is if I'm out and about, instead of having my keys in my pocket, I just throw them on this bag, and this makes it really nice. Now, if I want to keep my keys quiet, I'll throw them in my bag, of course, but this is a very strong uh, attachment here, makes it really nice. Of course, there's more molly webbing up here, and then this will give you a better look of the strap, the two-inch strap with this pad, and again, fully adjustable and uh, you can, to fit any size. Now my family's been in the jewelry business for many years. That's really what got me started with guns. Here's my fat boy. I typically will leave the pistol out when I get to the place and just set it out but uh, just getting ready to do a little work I do this a little bit for my family every once in a while if they get behind so but it keeps my interest in firearms real <laughs> if you know what I mean Maxpedition makes incredible products this fat boy is just evident of, to me of the quality and the workmanship that goes into these packs durable rugged made for the outdoors um, Another thing is, as I've said, I do a lot of reviews for Maxpedition, and I've talked to Tim, and I said, could you give my viewers a discount? So you get a 10% discount by using Such00 in the coupon code, and they'll fix you up and give you, like I say, a 10% discount. Tell them Such sent you. Even if you buy it somewhere else, make sure you go back to their website and leave a review for the products. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. One thing about getting out in the wild, if you're going to do it, make sure you bring some bug spray. <laughs>